Hello Capricorn, welcome to your Will This Turn Into Love reading for this week. If you'd like a personal reading with me, check out the description box below. It's got my blog link, which will take you to a page that has all my reading information, including prices. Alternatively, you can check out my email address, which is in the description box. Send me an email and let me know the kind of reading you'd like. So far, we have Clover, Lucky Find, uh, Capricorn, the Labyrinth. You've been looking for a long time for this and finally got the letter. Awesome, that's for someone out there. Okay, the letter you've been waiting for. Okay, that's very good. So tell me, will this turn into love of course? Capricorn, will this turn into love? Commitment, beautiful, excellent, that was card. I just saw messages, you might be falling in love by a message. Tell me about Capricorn Spirit. Will this turn into love for Capricorn? We have online. <laughs> Beautiful. In a month's time, there will be a commitment. Thank you. Could be a month's time. Could be falling in love and committing. That's like the perfect duo. Emotion and commitment. Emotional commitment. All right, Spirit. Tell me about the moon for Capricorn. Could be with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn like you. All right, someone who's an entrepreneur, who's very good at their work, very focused on their money, finances, taking care of themselves and their business or career in general. I kept seeing the hanged man. All right, so things could be stuck, stagnant and paused with this person right now. All right, you might have been waiting for a month or a month in advance, like in the month coming. So tell me about the ring spirit for Capricorn. Why is the ring here for Capricorn spirit? Tell me about the ring. This is a very generous person. All right, someone who's very loving, generous with their love. Okay, someone who's very giving and kind. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn with the Moon. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Too many cards. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? So we have community, a supportive community, despair and concern. All right. <clears throat> So, um, all right, so we have a community that is concerned about you, Capricorn. Why are they concerned about you? I need to get into that in a minute. All right, so this is equal give and take, could be sharing, could be giving to two, I don't know. So I'll clarify. Tell me about Six of Pentacles here. Alright, so something ended with a privileged lady, someone who's well to do, could be this person here, Capricorn, uh, changed by a message for the worse, alright, so yeah, I don't know what's going on, okay, so let's dissect these cards, tell me about despair, thought, okay, <clears throat> so you've got lots of depressing thoughts about this situation, Capricorn. You're very emotionally attached to this person, okay? You're emotionally committed to them, all right? Because they're so loving and generous and kind. The community is really concerned about you. They're very supportive, though. They're happy for you if you're happy. It's just a matter of um, you. your thoughts are giving you despair. Okay, and you don't know what to do with concern. Why is concern here, Spirit? Why are you in despair? How about that? Why is Capricorn in despair about this person and how they feel about them? Why is Capricorn in despair? Misfortune. Something happened, Capricorn. What happened? Sweetheart, lover. So that's the 
that's the guy and the girl, all right, sweetheart and lover. That's the perfect duo, all right, because you really did love them. You really do love them, Capricorn, and that's the misfortune. That, that's the lover, the masculine, like the male significator, and the sweetheart is the female. Why is the concern here, spirit? Because you feel this person is right for you. That's, that's why. And you just don't understand why something happened. Tell me about concern. Why is concern here? Why is concern here? Journey. Your person is going somewhere. Alright. And you got change with coffin. What's the change? Uh, gift. Gift is here. And healing is a change, gift and healing. You feel like this person is <laughs> beautiful in your life and they're a very healing person, privileged lady. That's the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about privileged lady spirit. Tell me about privileged lady. Okay, size, wife, falseness. Damn, size, the widow, that's the divorcee, uh, and wife, someone who wants to be married. And this is falseness, so this is a third party. This is someone who's divorced and wanting to be married. This is someone wanting to be married as well, okay? And falseness, why is falseness here for Capricorn? Alright, I'll find out about this message. Tell me about the message, Spirit. Tell me about the message, Spirit, for Capricorn. Faithfulness, haughtiness, surprise. So this person who you thought was false, okay and um wants to be married and is actually separated or divorced uh that you thought was false is actually honest okay faithful uh they might just come across as a bit vain or too sure of themselves and it's a pleasant surprise that they're actually a nice person all right so we got um bad health why is bad health here but you've got a doctor that counteracts that, okay? Uh, enemy. Yeah, because you just... <sighs> so stressed about this person. Tell me about enemy spirit for Capricorn. The devil. God. Negative energy in this zone. Capricorn, alright? The surprise is um, that there's some other situation going on here, um, Capricorn, okay, um, so yeah, there's some negative energy uh, around this situation, some kind of letter that you weren't expecting it is not great, um, but you've got haughtiness, faithfulness, um, that is is okay there is uh, could be giving to two tell me about temperance blending the two finding air in the ground tell me about wife spirit tell me about wife thank you the ending so it ended with a wife. A wife ended something. Tell me about size. Tell me about size. I keep seeing the lovers in my mind's eye. So I think the size, the divorcee, is the one that you're you're going for, whether they're male or female, okay? And the actual wife or partner, you know, is the one that you're releasing here. It's the end to a cycle with that person. And I think that person that you're releasing actually surprised you with some 
bad news, <coughs> excuse me, bad letter. And you're like, what? That and it was very, um, uh, what do you call it? What's that word? Arrogant of them. It's like, what? Really? I've been, you know, good to, good to you and all that. Um, whatever. Yeah, I've been good to you for so long. And then you, you know, something around this privileged lady. All right. Um, so that is a story about the past. I don't know why Spirit is bringing that up. Um, probably because of the ring. That's some kind of past commitment that ended. All right. And you're still healing from that. Okay. But right now you're going through this and you've got some despair because you're worried this is a sweetheart and you're the lover or you're the sweetheart and they're the lover. All right. And it's like you're actually. <clears throat> excuse me falling in love with this person but you've gone through so much Capricorn that you're in despair and very concerned because you don't know how you're going to be with that person and you know that everyone's very supportive of you because they're a good person all right okay so the person in your life that's coming towards you is a good one all right they're nice they're a gift from the universe to you and they're very healing to be around you Maybe you've been on a break, not as much communication with them, but just spirit is saying, rest assured, it's coming slowly. It, it's just a bit of self-sacrifice on your part. All right. Now we know. What a story. My goodness. Yeah. So you can't trust this um, person you're releasing. Because I feel that they're full of um, nasty surprises, unfortunately, whether they're male or female. But in the in the future, someone beautiful is either in your life and you're falling in love with them or they're yet to come. Tell me some beautiful guidance for my Capricorn spirit. Thank you. We have... Um, mothering, teaching, sharing knowledge, self-worth, support, time to be carried, allow others to help. Absolutely. That is so true for you, Capricorn. Allow people to help. That's why you've got a supportive community around you. They really do care and they're concerned about you. All right, especially in your time of despair during this situation with your person who's, you know, leaving... Um, but the one that's coming in is beautiful. They're very loving and caring and nurturing and giving, okay? And this person is willing to be there for you and support you through hard times. So, Spirit, give me one card from this deck for my gorgeous Capricorns to give them some, some love. Give them some love, Spirit, about this new love coming towards them, coming into their life. Oh my. We have Angel of Inner Peace. That's exactly what you need, Capricorn. You need inner peace, all right? And I feel this reading, even though it set me around the labyrinth for a little while because I was thinking this is the future, but this is actually in your mind hard to release the past to move towards the future. So you put the past in in the forefront of your mind because it's such a stress that's why i'm picking up on this as the future and the the future part is actually on the back burner because it's it's another priority it's not your first priority because this person is constantly challenging you with you know stresses and and, and things that are, are causing you anxiety and grief they've full of surprises unfortunately probably sending you messages and not leaving you alone unfortunately so but this beautiful situation coming towards you is a match made in heaven all right and that will help you with your inner peace all right i send you love peace and light always bye for now